Jacques Villander in closest gate to us, number 10. He gets a good jump, but it's the Honda alongside him. It looks like uh, uh, Geiser with the red plates, but sweeping around the outside, it's one of the Yamahas. Which one is it? It's 91. Jeremy Siwa, Mitch Evans and Geiser there, second and third, and then Prado fourth, Villandre now fourth, and uh, Maxim Renault trying to go around the outside as well. Well, and I saw Roman Fever just got an awful jump off the line there, and, and his team manager was standing right above him with the phone to video that start, Auntie, and uh, I, I would imagine they're going to have to do some work because that was not, not going to set him up well for tomorrow. Bottom of the hill, already making moves. Mitch Evans down the inside of Siwa takes over the lead at the first time of Askin, and that's a good response from what happened uh, a couple of weekends ago in the qualifying race in Belgium. Yeah, it's, uh, I was really surprised that Seward's lap time. I didn't see him a lot oh. in the time session. You see that traction, that's the same corner I was talking about, Koldenhoff, earlier. And, and, and Geiser also fell there. Yeah, yeah, there's... You, I think the traction is deceiving. They think it's there until it's not, and then, you know, these, these 450s have so much power, and they're using the most aggressive tire they can get away with, so it spins up more quickly. And, uh, yeah, you're, I think you're going to see that, especially on this first lap, because, as I mentioned, there was water being put down just before this qualifying race. So Mitch Evans leads his teammate, Tim Geiser, dropping downhill. Jeremy Seward is third. He's gone from first to third in the space of half a lap. Calvin Villar in fourth, and in yellow, Paul Jonas on that uh, retrofit. Husvana, and then just behind him, we've got uh, Koldenhoff, and then Fev...